so we get them back on. Good job. Hey, you're ready for a toe hold. Just make sure after you stick it deep in the strap, immediately let go. Once you let go, it's easier than if you keep both hands on the handle. Okay. After you let go, the only thing you got to keep doing if you want to keep going is keep your foot way underneath you with your shoulders over the top of your foot. And if you're skiing on your right foot, keep leaning way to your right. Like, don't try to stay square. Like, cock to your right if you're skiing on your right foot, cock way to your left the whole time you're skiing on your left foot. Yeah, I, I did it one time. The last time I was at your school in New York. Good job, Good. Roger. I was able to do a toe hold. Thanks. Gloves on me. It was awesome. I wasn't even close. Okay. Kind of relax a lot more through it. Yeah, the more you relax your feet, the flatter your feet go and the less pull between your legs. We'll work on both methods. I'll teach you how to get up without even using the ski. Just sit on the boom. Uh-huh. And then I take you up to speed. We get the boom down real low. You set your feet on the water and all you do is you bend away at the waist and put your chest on your um, legs. Put, uh -huh. your, put your chest down by your knees and then stand up. Great. You won't even need the ski. You only got to go 20 miles an hour. If you fall, it doesn't even hurt. Okay, you ready, buddy? Yep. What? Are we ready? Yeah. And then when you got 50% of your weight on your hand, all you do is you rock and you slam your foot in and push yourself up with your hand. Keep your hand on the water until you know you got it. When you know you got it, take your hand off. Ready, buddy? Oh, no. Just, just 